Hey, you guys. So I pulled from my Chinese Oracle and I asked about the divine masculine's energy, the divine feminine's energy and the union energy. So first we have the divine masculine here. Now, first of all, the Chinese Oracle is split between yang cards and yin cards. There is with all three, a lot of yang energy. So that's really good because yang energy is all about action. Yin energy is waiting. Yang energy is action. So this group that I pulled for is is all about action right now, okay? You might not be seeing it yet, but I do believe it is coming. <laughs> so for the masculines, they have all yang cards, which all yang cards indicates fast action. So they might swoop in unexpectedly. I love that image too with the horse and the dragon, like just showing up in their power and ready to like take off moving forward in the future is what I'm feeling. The dog is telling you that they are faithful and loyal to you. They are, they have been patient through this process because, you know, you have to remember that even though you feel like you're waiting for them, they are going through their own journey, their own process. Spirit is putting them through their own lessons and spiritual awakening. And to some extent, sometimes they feel like they are waiting for things to align as well because they're dealing with life and their own obstacles that are preventing them from moving forward. Um, until everything is completely aligned. So they're also being patient and persevering through this process, but know that they are absolutely 100% determined to come home to you. And they're going to, you know, exactly in divine timing. The horse is all about endurance. It represents the endurance that it takes to get through this journey. Just like I said, they're, they're determined, they're um, persevering, and they're patient through this process. They are focused on the endurance that the twin flame journey demands and teaches okay so they're finding their way through that um with bravery coming to the surface they're in positivity they're positive about the future and they have a positive outlook for what's to come you know they're not dwelling in the negative anymore and there's also a focus here on the power of the team so that's going to be where they you know when appropriately lean on you and come to you for whatever they need, whatever help. Um, I mean, that's going to be after union. I feel like that it's going to be when they're ready to move forward, you'll be able to come together as a team. And until then, the power of the team will represent their soul tribe around them that is helping them move forward in the ways that they need to. Because as much as this journey teaches self-reliance, in this world we live in, we can't be 100% self-reliant a lot of the time. A lot of time we need help. So they're getting that help by leaning on the people around them who are there to provide whatever assistance is needed. The dragon is about, it, the dragon represents, excuse me, that they are standing in their power, they're focusing on their dreams, and they are pushing forward because they, they want union and they're ready for union. That's, I just strongly feel that about this group. This group of divine masculines is ready. They're ready to make their dreams come into reality and they're pushing forward to do so. Divine Feminines have two Yang cards and one Yin card. That means that Spirit is encouraging you to go for it um, and to trust yourself, okay? So continue to move forward down your journey and your path in confidence and in faith, okay? The Tiger and Yang is about staying true to yourself, focusing on your goal, your own goals at this time while you are um, holding space for divine union and divine timing to align. And confront any challenges that are still coming up for you so that you're ready on your end, okay? The ox in yang is saying to stay calm, stay stable, stay in, in your independence. Um, another card about persevering through this process. And again, about being sure of yourself and be sure of your twin as well. Okay, stand in your confidence in, in both of you and in this journey. The rabbit in yin is saying, don't worry about what others think. And again, be true to yourself. So there's so, so much here in this reading about being true to yourself. Like, if anything, if that is still something that might be a hang up for either of you, that's, that's where you need to put your final focus here on being true to yourself, your soul path, your twin flame journey, your twin flame connection, and don't worry about what anyone else thinks or does. All that matters is that you stay true to yourselves and your connection. And also, 
Um, oh yes, this was an additional message in regards to the tiger. Send love to your divine masculine and hold space for them. Um, sends them that unconditional loving energy, acceptance and forgiveness as they finish up whatever spirit has them finishing up before spirit opens the doors and says, you're free to, to burst forward. <laughs> the green light is on. So, so that is the divine feminine energies and guidance. Lastly, we have the union energies and notice we have two goat cards, both the yang and the yin, and we have the rabbit card again. This time we have the rabbit card in yang, whereas we had rabbit and yin for the divine feminine. Now, the double of these cards is significant as well. It basically fortifies the meanings of these cards and reinforces them um, even more so. Um, the Again, the yang, yang, yin represents trusting your connection, trusting your journey, and moving forward no matter what. Like, don't worry about anybody else. Once again, go for it. Pursue your dreams and and believe in union. Now, the goat in Yang is saying, be fearless, be present in the moment. Um, take sure action towards the future. Now, this is union energy, okay? Take sure action towards the future. Like th this is ready to happen. This group, it's ready. It's happening. It's it, for some of you, it's already happening, and for others of you, it is like it is a right on the cusp of happening. Like it's, <laughs> it might be happening, and you just can't quite see it yet. Like it's, <laughs> be prepared for surprises coming soon. That's what I really feel here. The rabbit in Yang. <sighs> Stay balanced within yourself, while you continue to be patient for those. Um, those signs of action and activity that spirit is telling you is coming. Be strong in yourself. Um, so I really feel the primary message here, especially with the fortification of the double rabbit cards, is that being true to yourself message, being strong and true within yourself, within the surety of your soul path and your twin flame path, and stay balanced within. And that's, in this case, that balance is... Maintaining a balance between yin and yang energy, between when it's time for you to take action and when it's time for you to be patient and wait. So you, you really have to be well tuned into your intuition and you have to feel what you're supposed to do when. Sometimes that might be hold off, wait a minute, and sometimes it might be, yeah, do this right now. <laughs> I, I can give you an example. Um with my twin right now there's uh communication that is being said and also needs to be said and spirit is told is basically telling me like on a day-to-day day, day, day to day basis hold on not just yet not just yet wait 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 till we align it exactly when we want you to speak up <laughs> so it's kind of like a it's not a long-term wait is what i'm getting at here it's like a day-to-day -day check in thing like is the today the day to take an action or is it not you know or wait wait just a little bit longer so that's where you want to like really tune into your intuition and your spirit guides and feel the right thing to do when the goat in the yin energy is about trusting your inner guidance to be decisive and to be optimistic while once again being sure of yourself, being sure of this connection, and being true to yourself. So the double goat energy here is all about that absolute 100% confidence and trust on yourself, in yourself, in your inner guidance for the, your soul path and your twin flame connection, and being optimistic and decisive in taking that positive sure action towards union. You're going to know and you're going to be shown exactly what to do when you just need to you just need to trust it you just need to trust spirit you need to trust your inner guidance and be fearless when called to be